Welcome, Wilson's YouTube family. As promised, we've got a thrilling video for you today. Make sure to stick around until the end. You won't want to miss out on what happened. Where the government buys the, all the crop in the country, like Banda's done this year. He bought all the crop from every farmer. Ask every pe pe peasant farmer. We bought the crop, and they've got money in their pockets. Yes. We put money in the pockets of the people. In the heart of Africa, a nation was left in shock and mourning as it bid farewell to one of its greatest sons. Lieutenant General Rani Shikapwasha, a man whose life was marked by exemplary service both in the military and political spheres. The tragic news of La Tagen Shikapwasha's shooting at his Ibex Hill home sent ripples across Zambia, leaving a nation in disbelief. The circumstances surrounding the incident, allegedly involving his wife, added a layer of complexity to the already shocking event. A nation is left in shock and grief as the mysterious circumstances surrounding the shooting of former Information Minister Rani Shikapwasha unfold. In a series of events that began with the shocking discovery of the Shikapwasha family finds themselves at the center of a storm, with the police and the nation eagerly seeking answers. Maureen Mwanawasa, the family representative, spoke to journalists at the funeral house. And he was a member of parliament. Uh, he's still remembered in Kembe constituency. He did a lot of uh, developmental works. In this matter. We are cooperating. That's the role of a citizen. The rest is up to the police. We are all citizens. When you commit a, a crime, it becomes government issue. And we leave it. Emphasizing the family's commitment to cooperate with the police in their investigation. Maureen Moanawasa, issues of crime are matters of the state, and we will allow the police to do their job. The Zambia Police Service swiftly launched an investigation into the shooting incident, with detectives working tirelessly to piece together the puzzles surrounding this high-profile case. Ray Hamunga, We are encouraging anyone with information related to the shooting to come forward and assist us in our ongoing investigation. Every piece of information is crucial in establishing the actual facts surrounding this incident. Born on December 25, 1947, in Zambia's central province, Rani Shikapwasha's life journey was nothing short of extraordinary. His education, rooted in military training across England, Russia, China, former Yugoslavia, and India, laid the foundation for a remarkable career. A skilled fighter jet pilot, Shika Pwasha served as the personal pilot to Zambia's first Republican president, Kenneth Kaunda. His military prowess and dedication earned him the role of Zambia Air Force Commander in 1991. Shika Pwasha's journey wasn't confined to the skies. He transitioned seamlessly into the political arena, serving as the Home Affairs Minister and later as the foreign minister. His political career reached its peak when he assumed the role of Minister of Information and Broadcasting Services in 2008. During his tenure, Zambia witnessed political shifts from the movement for multi-party democracy to the Patriotic Front. Shikapwasha's contributions to the nation were widely acknowledged, even as political tides changed. However, Sheikh Apwasha's military career faced challenges. He was relieved from his duties as Zambia Air Force commander while lying in a hospital in South Africa, just a month after the attempted coup in 1997. Beyond the titles and ranks, Sheikh Apwasha was a family man. Married to Jane, he had eight children. 
His personal life reflected a commitment to family values and his Christian faith. The tragic end to Lao Gen Shikapwasha's life unfolded on January 15, 2024, at his Ibex Hill residence. Rushed to Maina Soko Military Hospital, he succumbed to gunshot wounds, leaving a nation in mourning. As news of Shikapwasha's passing spread, tributes poured in from across the nation. Former First Lady Maureen Mwanawasa and family spokesperson Alex Mapushi confirmed the sad news, highlighting the profound loss experienced by the family. In the farewell to Lieutenant General Ronnie Shikapwasha, um, Brigadier General, I would like to confirm that uh, Honorable Ronnie Shikapwasha died yesterday here at my Nasoko Medical Center around 21.43 uh, 21, hours. Uh, this was yesterday, the 15th of January 2024. He died as a result of uh, wounds sustained uh, from a gunshot. The family undergone a major overhaul in Canada. It came back last year. Uh, 1992 from Canada after a major overhaul. Prior to its uh, fateful flight, I had undertaken to fly that particular aircraft from Livingston to Lusaka and it was in the mechanical sound for it to undertake the task uh, given by the country to take the national team to Senegal. Zambia bids adieu to a man whose life was marked by service, dedication, and an unwavering commitment to his nation. Uh, Colonel Mohone uh, is the commanding officer of the Zambia Air Force Base at the International Airport. Uh, he's a qualified instructor, having had been trained in the UK and passed through the Staff and Command College in India. Uh, Colonel Mohone joined the Zambia Air Force in 1970. Uh, he has since uh, been in several appointments and he has flown this aircraft for the past 15 years. The second crew member was Lieutenant Colonel uh, VK Mwanga. Lieutenant Colonel Mwanga too has been flying the Buffalo aircraft for the past 12 years. Uh, he too has been in the service for the past 21 years and is a, was a very experienced crew member. Uh, this crew was qualified and capable of undertaking this task. We, however, have to undertake and carry out investigation along with the civil authorities in Zambia and, like the Vice President has said, with the French uh, government authority to determine what may have happened uh, to the aircraft. There are a number of conflicting reports as to what happened at the time of the accident. This, we are unable to see what would have caused the accident until such a time that we have placed ourselves in the position, in position. The disturbing trend of women killing their husbands in Africa underscores the urgent need for comprehensive societal reforms. By addressing the root causes, enhancing support systems, and implementing preventive measures, communities can work towards creating environments where healthy relationships thrive, reducing the likelihood of such tragic incidents. It is essential for governments, NGOs, and communities to collaborate in a concerted effort to break the cycle of violence and build a safer and more equitable society for everyone. As the nation mourns, let us remember the legacy of a distinguished public servant whose contributions will be eternally engraved in Zambia's history. May his soul rest in eternal peace. If you've enjoyed today's content, have you subscribed yet? Subscribing, liking, and sharing are the keys to becoming an integral part of our growing family. Hit that subscribe button, give us a thumbs up, and don't forget to share the love with your friends and family. Stay tuned for the next video dropping tomorrow.
Thank you for being a part of Wilson's YouTube family. Hit that subscribe button, give us a thumbs up, and don't forget to share the love with your friends and family. Stay tuned for the next video dropping tomorrow.